Speaking of jingles and songs and sad songs, guess who's dead, Brian? Well, you already know. Randy Meisner of the Eagle, the original Eagle. I was going to say Reggie? No, Reggie's later, and he's been dead for a while. But no, you sent me a nice little article, a little piece. Who wrote that that you sent me on Randy Meisner? And a lot of people know him now. That's Bob Lefsetz, and I've been reading his stuff since I was, you know, starting Bob out at Lefsetz. Sony. Bob Lefsetz, and he does an industry newsletter, and he also, it's mostly just his opinion, but, you know, if you are in the industry, sometimes you pick up a thing or two in there. Well, anyway, it was a nice little piece on Randy Meisner, but he's dead. 77 years old. I wouldn't have thought he was that that much older than me. He, he was so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. When I was 11 years old, he didn't look at a day over 21. Come to find out, he was going on 26. What do you got to say about Randy Meisner? Very talented guy. I mean, I guess if we're going to talk about it, it's an interesting story. His biggest hit was Take It to the Limit, and he hated doing the falsetto which caused problems with him and Glenn Fry and maybe him and the rest of the band. What everyone wanted to hear in the song that he sang, he just decided he didn't want to do it every night. <laughs> ah but then Timothy B. Schmidt came in and he's you got the voice him. of an it's angel. Ridiculous. I love him. He's a great guy. If there was ever a man you were going to run away with, it's him. You bring him up more than any other hey, singer all the stop time. Stop it. Me and, me and Timothy had a thing going on. We both knew it was wrong. But it was much too strong to let it go until he died. See, on the Jim Cornette drinking game, you brought Billy Paul into it. I think that's like three shots. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. Anyway, Randy, we're sorry we barely knew ye. And I still say Hearts on Fire is the greatest single hit by a, an ex-Eagle. Fuck Glenn and Don. God damn, they should have paid more attention to Randy. But now you that you've brought that up, what, what were you going to say? You don't like You Belong to the City? I didn't say I didn't like it, but it's not as peppy as Hearts on Fire. Boys it wasn't of Summer? a peppy song. Boys of Boys Summer. Boys of Summer was, was a more of a morose peppiness rather than a peppy peppiness. A morose peppiness. It was a morosely peppy song. <laughs> it had a driving beat, but a morose uh, undertone underneath it. Yeah. There's nobody on the street. It, it, I feel it in the air. That sounds great. The summer's out of reach. It's very morose. 